Welcome, 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 friends, to another episode of Music to the Max. I'm Mr. William, and I am your music teacher. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to do some neat songs and look at some instruments and do some science experiments. But first, we're going to sing our opening song. I always like to sing. I've got my harmonica. If you have a harmonica, you can be playing along with us. And we're going to sing our theme song, This Friendly, Friendly World. In this friendly, friendly world, with each day so full of joy, why should any heart be lonely? In this friendly, friendly world, with each night so full of dreams, why should any heart someone you love to wander along with you with the sky so full of stars and the river so full of song every heart should be so thankful thankful for this friendly friendly great and it's a friendly world boys and girls and I'm glad you're here with me but first we're gonna have to look at some of the neat instruments I brought with me today all right so neat today we're gonna look at two instruments that are kind of the same but are really really different sizes so first we're gonna look at this Whoa, this is a ukulele a ukulele is a string instrument because it's got some strings on it and it's kind of the same shape as a guitar. It looks like a little miniature guitar, but it's not a guitar. It's a ukulele. We think about ukuleles when we think about Hawaii and beach music and things like that. Really, really, really cool and fun. a little sound because it's a little instrument really really neat a ukulele but I want to compare this ukulele to this big 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 upright bass they're kind of the same they both have four strings one two three four one two three four so they have the same number of strings but they're really different sizes let's hear how this big upright bass sounds whoa it's big and it's heavy really low sounding, much lower sounding than the ukulele, not nearly the same. The ukulele is kind of like the little, 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 little sister of the big upright bass. I think that they're kind of related because they're both string instruments, but it also looks a lot like a violin, a big, big, big violin. I'm going to play a little upright bass for you. we should do a fun song on the upright bass. If you have your harmonica, you can play along at home. Let's play a song called Blue Suede Shoes. I got a blue harmonica, blue suede shoes, and you can play along at home. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now. Go, cat, go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. You can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Well, do anything that you wanna do, but uh uh, honey, lay off my shoes. Well, don't you step on my blue suede shoes? You can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Oh, I'm gonna 
take a harmonica solo if I had one. Well, it's so neat to learn about string instruments like little ukuleles or big upright basses. But really, when you look at a ukulele, it's, it's just a box with a hole and some strings on it. And I want to show you how you can make a fun little shoebox ukulele or shoebox guitar at home. It doesn't take much. You just need a box like a shoebox or you can have a cereal box, whatever you have handy and you can get some crayons and some paper so you can decorate it. That's really fun. I like to do that. You're going to need something round to trace to make your hole. You want a pencil. You want two pencils. And you want some rubber bands. So really, you need a shoebox, some rubber bands, and some pencils. And then you're going to be able to make your own shoebox guitar. It's always good to have help for this because it involves a little bit of cutting. So I'm going to take my little shoe box, and here I've got a, something round so I can trace my circle. So I'm going to trace my circle, and that's going to be the hole for my shoe box guitar. Because I'm going to make one of these right now. So I've got my circle drawn on top, and you can get somebody to help you with some scissors or maybe a kitchen knife. Sometimes I like to have my friends like my parents or my older sisters or brothers help me with this. Started. Oh, I got my hole started. Being careful. Holy moly. That went great. So, I cut my hole out of my shoebox guitar, and that's gonna be the sound hole for my instrument. So now, I get my rubber bands, and I have some rubber bands that are different sizes. You gotta put the rubber bands around the, and over the hole. And I got a big thick one, and I got a little thin rubber band. And I think I'll do four rubber bands, just like my ukulele has four strings, but, you don't have to do four. You could do one or five or six or whatever you like. Okay, one more good rubber band. All right, now that's the start, but it's buzzy because the rubber bands are flat and that doesn't work really well. So you're going to take two pencils and you're going to put them under the rubber bands here at the end and rise that one up and another rubber band and put it there and rise that up. So you got your strings set up and then you can have a pick. And that's your shoebox guitar. That's just the start of it. I want to decorate mine really quick. So I'm going to I'm going to put some decoration on my guitar so it looks really good. I put some paper on the top of mine and I'm going to draw some things on the side and really design this so I make it really how I want my shoebox guitar and then I can jam along. A very simple shoebox guitar. Well, now that we've made our shoebox guitar, I want to do our science experiment. And we've been talking about vibrations and we know that sound is vibrations. We were able to see the vibrations last time when I was playing the bass and things were shaking. But this time I want to talk about how 
big things vibrate slowly and little things vibrate very fast. And to show you this, I brought some, whoa, some weights when I'm lifting weights. This one is only five pounds, but this one, oh, is 25 pounds. It's really, really heavy. It doesn't take very much energy to lift up this five pound weight so I can move it around really fast. Really light, easy, and small, and it can move around really fast. This big 25 pound weight, whoa, it's really heavy and it takes a lot of energy to make it move and I have to move it a lot slower. So little things can move faster and vibrate faster and big things, oh, they move slower and they vibrate slower. And I'm gonna show you how we can see that. And I have a nice dinner glass right here. And this is a dinner glass that you might have at home or at a restaurant. And I want to make it vibrate so I can hear it. I don't hear anything right now coming out of my glass. But I want to hear something coming out of this glass, so I need to make it vibrate. I'm going to put a little bit of water in this. And you may have seen this on the streets of Germany when you were on spring break. <laughs> I'm going to take a little water and put it on the edge. Wow, it's vibrating. I'm getting some tension and it's vibrating and it's making a sound. I'm going to put some more water in this and this is going to make it heavier and make it harder to vibrate so it's going to vibrate slower and it's going to have a lower pitch. So I'm going to pour some more water in. That's lower. Lower. Oh, I'm going to pour even more in. See if it gets even lower. So when there's a lot of water in it, it's very heavy and it takes more energy to make it vibrate and so the pitch is lower. I'm actually going to go and dump a lot of this water out right now and there's going to be a little water in it and it's going to be able to vibrate fast and be higher pitched. Now there's a lot less water in it and we'll see if it's much higher pitched. Really, really neat. So we were able to make this wine glass sing out by making it vibrate. Well, I have had so much fun today with you going over all kinds of things with music. Music to the max! We looked at little tiny ukuleles and really, really big upright basses. And we sang songs like Blue Suede Shoes. And we made our own shoebox guitars, which I think are really, really neat. And we even were able to make a wine glass sing. So neat. Well, I hope that you guys will come back next week where we'll have another good, fun music lesson. And we're going to do our final song we always do. I've got my harmonica with me. If you have a harmonica, you should be playing along at home. We're going to do our final song. And I'll see you next time. Happy trails to you. Until we meet again, happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you.